See right here where the uh, decimal point is at the very bottom? See it in blue and light blue above the I? What we're going to do is we're going to press second I, okay? So you can see there's your I, and I'm going to use a caret key over here right underneath the clear. So caret uh, three, so that's the third power. So if I press enter, you can see it's giving us the exact answer, negative I. So you can see I cubed here is negative I. Now let's go ahead and do it to a, a higher power. So say for example, if it was I to the 23rd power, so we've got second I raised to the 23rd power. And before we go ahead and hit enter on that, let's go ahead and calculate what that would be. So I to the 23rd, what we can do is we can do this a couple different ways. One way to do it is I squared to the 11th power, see power to power you multiply, that's I to the 22nd, times one more I, that gives you 23 I's, right? But I squared we know is negative one, right? Negative one to an odd power is a negative, and the negative one times i gives us a negative i. So the answer we should get for i to the 23rd is negative i. Let's see if we can uh, verify that. So I'm gonna press the second key, I'm gonna press i down here at the bottom, and I'm gonna use the caret key, I'm gonna raise it to the 23rd power. Oops, looks like I typed that in already, let me do it again. So second i raised to the 23rd power, uh, enter, and you can see it's giving us negative i, same thing we got here at the bottom. So that's all you have to do. So again, just uh, go ahead and use that second key, use the i, which is right above the decimal point, and you'll be able to verify uh, you know, what these i values are to higher powers. But it's good to know how to do it by hand, just like I showed you here, uh, by just making it uh, multiples of two, and then whatever you have left over, you can have here. Let's just look at one more quick example, and I'll show you another technique. So say, for example, you wanted to find out what's i to the, let's just say 37th. So another way to do this problem is you can say, well, how many times does four go into 37 evenly? Nine times, right, with one left over. Now we know that i to the fourth is one, so this is really just gonna be one times i, which is i. So this is another way to do it. Now if this came out to i squared, then it would be negative one. If the leftover was i cubed, then it would be negative i. And then if there's nothing left over, it would just be one. So what you can do is you can use these values and just cycle through um, one, two, three, four, you know, and so on, five, six, seven, eight. But what you do is you divide by four, and then you look at the leftover, okay, whatever, however many i's are left over. If there are none left over, it's one. Okay, if there's one left over, it's i. If there's two left over, it's negative one. And if there's three left over remaining, then it's negative i. So I hope you enjoyed this video about how to work with the TI-84, uh, finding higher powers of i. Subscribe to the channel. Check out more uh, tutorials on Mario's Math Tutoring YouTube channel. And I look forward to helping you in the future videos. I'll talk to you soon.